So in episode 5 of the Let's Build the RPG series, I go over a comprehensive tutorial on how to build a camera zoom. How to zoom in, how to zoom out, third person, all the way into first person. And this works great 90% of the time. You know, 90% of the time it works every time. But whenever you have a weird movement like jumping, yeah, your head comes in full view. So here's my current camera zoom setup, the best I've come up with thus so far. And if you need a general tutorial on enhanced input, you could check out episode 74 of the Let's Build the RPG series, and that shows you how to set up these enhanced input actions. And so basically, whenever I click the zoom in button, so right now I have them set to T and G on my keyboard. So T zooms in, G zooms out. And whenever I press T, it does this camera zoom in. And then for camera zoom in, I'm just adjusting the target arm length. And then if the target arm length reaches a certain threshold, like if it's less than a certain value, and then I set the first person view. Now to solve the problem of the head, so let's go into that. So what I'm doing here is I'm literally taking our camera boom and attaching it directly to my head and saying snap to target, but keeping the rotation consistent with the world so there's not a sudden snapping of rotation. And the rest of this stuff here, so all this we set up in previous episodes, but this, this basically sets it so that whatever way you're looking, you're also rotating the character in that direction. And then vice versa, when you go back into third person view, so let's go back to our event graph. I do a double tap setup here for both of these where double tap brings you quickly into that view, but that's really just a bonus feature. You don't necessarily need that. So camera zoom out. So if target arm length gets beyond 30, then it goes back to being simply attached to the capsule. Again, snap to target, keep world. And then I change the relative location here. And the end result of this is even an idle position because your character is moving a bit when they're idle, feels a little bit more natural. I thought I'd be annoyed by the subtle movements in idle, but really it doesn't bother me too much. And when I walk, it's a little bit jarring too, but also I find myself getting used to it. It does feel more natural. And then when I jump, the head's not showing. Yeah, everything adjusts just fine. And I want to give a special thanks to Anderson who suggested this because initially I was thinking I would use a sphere mask to hide the character's head. That's probably not going to work too well because if the character, if you, the player, are looking straight at a reflective surface like glass or mirror or the surface of a lake, obviously it's not going to be realistic if your character's head is just missing. So I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next one.